I was born and raised in Zionsville, Indiana, which is just down the road from here. Went to school there, and that's kind of how I got my start in baton. There was a local studio that offered dance and baton lessons, and I had seen a twirler or some twirlers in the local parade and decided that's something I wanted to try. I started out at three years old taking dance, and then they decided I was old enough that I could start baton at four and just fell in love with it from that point on. As a small child, I saw the parades and I saw a baton twirler and the band and, of course, the big music that's going on and the sparkly costumes and all the glitter and glitz was really attracting to me and something that I thought I wanted to try. Baton twirling really helped me as far as confidence, standing up in front of people and giving speeches. Um, just performing in front has really helped out a lot. Of course, being a Hoosier, I had always attended the fair with my parents and family. It was always a major tradition that we walked around the fair and we saw at one year, many years ago, the twirling competition that was going on. And of course, I had to stop and watch and see the pretty costumes and all the glitz. And I had come back from the fair that year and spoke with my coach if that was something that I would be ready to do. And the following year, I did compete and just have been there every year since. I have always loved the art of baton twirling and as a competitor, it was just in my blood. So I know that as I grew older that I still wanted to be able to, to be involved in it. And I've always had a love for children, so I thought the next step would be to teach children and I did that. I did have a studio in Zionsville for a while and then after coaching and got a little older, it encouraged me to judge and so I started to get my judges certification and then I've just been coaching ever since and it's been a great experience for me. I probably competed at the Indiana State Fair for approximately seven or eight years. Judged at the Indiana State Fair for probably over 25 years. My experience growing up with baton twirling and growing older into different aspects of it it's very fun, our community of baton twirling, as far as you go to contests and you see people that you haven't seen for perhaps a year or so and they end up there and it's just a joy to see people. We have that common bond that you've worked really hard and you can't wait to see each other's routines and how you're gonna perform that. For me, it's been a pleasure to have coached many children and I'm cycling and now teaching their kids. I did have the wonderful opportunity to have a daughter so I have coached her and she's been to local, state, regions and nationals and state fair and she's a past state fair champion also. Well, baton twirling actually started as a male sport. The drum major leading the band and I think one day a female participant had picked it up and started to spin it around and they decided to make the baton smaller and more and more female competitors started in and it's kind of grown into more of a competitive sport and we do have male competitors, but there are a lot more female competitors. We certainly in Indiana would love to see it keep growing. It is an athletic sport. Anything that I think in this day and age that you can keep children active is, is a positive. The Indiana State Fair is um, another avenue for the kids to compete. It kind of culminates our year here in Indiana. We have competitions that start like in February or March, and the State Fair being in the, in the fall is kind of like the highlight. The kids love to come to the competition and then spend the day at the fair. I have students that compete competitively on the solo level as well as perhaps in a pair or a duet and then also in team competition. Uh, the team competition is, is very fun. It's very fulfilling for the kids to have someone to practice with and a goal that you're a part of a group and you're all working together for a goal. This is the good luck handshake of USDA. You have to get a good luck shake before you go out on the floor and compete.